Misuse of cess is a matter of grave national importance. Mr. Speaker, I wish to combine that with the clarification required by Senator Chimera on the Kondo Tungu Kondo Dongo Kundu on Dongo Kundu Road, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, the leader of the majority has been spot on. Whereas emotions of defending devolution are forcing us to disagree with the National Assembly that money of cess should not go to Kura, uh, in st instead it should come to counties, on the ground matters are not the same. People don't want, including Mr. Speaker, during the recess, I was twice on a road which is now impassable from Kambia Mwanza, Mr. Speaker, to Ibakale, to Ekambiri, to Shiamberere, Mr. Speaker, Ichirovani, up to Rondo and Shinyalu, and the people were there with the twigs, with the bananas planting on the road, saying that their governor must go because he is not fixing that road. Why am I quoting it? It is because this is a road that traverses between Shinyalu and Malaba, net producers of sugar. And in those areas, we have West Kenya, it pays cess. You have Butali sugar, it pays cess. And if it is as if it's not enough, even Mumia's sugar itself, Pay says the governor for the last two years has never spent a single says on any road to justify the money that he collects as says. Before devolution, Mr. Speaker, the defunct local authorities, when says used to be given, they were fixing our roads. Mr. Speaker, I'm not in the habit of activism because I am a respected national leader. I am not in the habit of picketing because I don't believe that sufurias can be hats and caps. And therefore, when you see me join one engine saying that the activism of governor so-and-so must go, it is because there is justification. Even if there are no roads in, in Kericho, I mean in Kilifi, Mr. Speaker, where you come from, or a challenge of roads in Meru, for example, you do not have the luxury of cess that we collect in Kakamega and in Bungoma and in Busia. I therefore want to put the governors of Busia, governors of Kakamega, governors of Bungoma, governors of Kisumu, governors of Homape, governors of Migori, on notice because they are abusing cess. The primary intention of cess, Mr. Speaker, was to fix the roads so that Ken cannot rot on, farm, on farms. They are not doing it. Instead, Mr. Speaker, sadly, and I congratulate the, 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 the control of budget, she has now firmly told us, and members, I urge you to visit the website of the control of budget, the shame that she has exposed in our counties. Madam Speaker, uh, Mr. Speaker, sir, she is telling us how your governors use the money that we fight for here once it is in their custody. Mr. Speaker, that a county like Kakamega can spend a whooping 418 million shillings, 640,000, purely for purposes of flying around. They fly in and out of Dubai, in and out of Washington, in and out of everywhere at the cost of Mwanainji. When the same 418 million speaker is the same money that we are asking for to be spent on compensating people in Miranda Ward who are supposed to be rescheduled, resettled, so that we construct the new airport. Instead of committing that money to that development expenditure, the governor of Kakamega chooses to enjoy, as President Kibaki would say in this house, 
ku enjoy. That's how Kibaki used to say it. Mr. Speaker, this issue of how we are spending our money, it must become the main debate here soon after we pass the Division of Revenue Bill. Right now, we are fighting hard as a committee to ensure that the government does not effect the deduction from 400.1 billion due to county governments to 380. But I ask myself, why are we struggling when the money, Mr. Speaker, is going to be misused? Mr. Speaker, I cannot stop without congratulating the governor of Homer Bay, Gladys Wanga, the governor of Nairobi, Johnson Sakaja. They have led in raising on source revenue. This is commentable together with the 14 other governors who has led, including Prof Professor Nyongo. He raised his by 45.8%. 40, we want to congratulate this kind of governors. But even as we congratulate Governor Sakaja, we want again to ask Governor Sakaja, it is not enough for you just to tell us how you collected 12.9 billion shillings from Onsos. You should also tell us how you are using that money. If Governor Sakaja was using those billions well, which are collected from us, the residents of Nairobi, Mr. Speaker, we would not be seeing all this garbage blocked sewers. You are on Mombasa Road, you see blocked sewers, this raw sewage moving around. In fact, it is forcing the minister, uh, Minister Duale, C.S. Duale, the one in charge of uh, environment, Mr. Speaker. He was spoke, speaking as if he wants to run the county government of Nairobi. Cleaning up River Nairobi should not be the work of the national government. The devolved government of Nairobi is the most funded county in this country. It is the one which controls the biggest economy in this, among the 47 counties. It should be able to give us services. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, for this chance. Senator Gloria, you continue being out of order. You know, understanding order 98, and I want to believe you have a copy of the Senate standing orders. You can only raise on a point of order when another senator is contributing. No one is contributing, as you can see. So whom do you want to call to order? Let's leave it there. Next, uh, Senator Wamatinga. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Speaker, sir. I also like to support 